Um, yeah, I mean, I think we probably have exceeded them. We were picked fifth in the preseason uh, in, in the conference. Um, we felt we were a little better than that coming back uh, with it being my second year. I think guys were a little more comfortable with some of the things we were going to try to do. So we're 16-7. and seven. Uh, We're 9-3 and three in the conference. We, we've played fairly consistently most of the season. Um, I think the biggest thing for us is we have a roster that's never played in the postseason. Um, so, you know, those expectations now as we've clinched the playoff spot are a little different. And having, having coached at East Stroudsburg and obviously coached against Coach Driscoll and, and coached against both – uh, Muhlenberg and the sales, there's, there's a lot of good coaches up here, and I think every coach realizes, and you try to get your players to realize, if you get in, then you got to try to exceed those expectations. And, you know, we could be anywhere seated, so we're just going to try to find a way to play well at the right time and, you know, uh, see what we can do once we get in there. Coach Driscoll left out that trip to Mansfield usually sets you up to not play well. It's about five hours to the middle of nowhere, so that might be something to do with the coach. Um, I would say for us, it would probably be the Catholic game uh, down at Catholic. Uh, we lost in overtime, 89-84. Uh, we played pretty well the majority of the game. We, we held the lead for most of the game. Um, but I think more importantly, the year before, they beat us by 39 down there. Uh, so that was probably the low point of our season in 15-16. In we didn't have too many good memories from there. Um, and I think our guys were excited to go back down there and prove that we've grown as a team. And, and we did that. We just came up a little bit short. So. Uh, if we could, if we could get that one back, I'd take that one back. Or to, to what Coach Cobb has said, I want to congratulate all the student athletes in the room on the men's and women's side for, for being here today. Uh, I've actually had the fortunate pleasure of coaching two of the guys behind me, um, having coached at East Stroudsburg for a long time and, and obviously competed against everybody else. The one thing I would say about every guy up here, um, as talented as every one of them is, they compete. Um, I, I played against, my team's played against Josh Johnson. He's a competitor. Uh, Scott's guys are the same way. Brandon at, at uh, Muhlenberg. Um, and, and I think that's why they're back here, um, is that they're competitive and they push themselves to be as good as they could be. Uh, Brandon falls right in line with that. He's a guy that's, uh, that's had two really good years in the time I've been there and, and before I got back to campus. Uh, he, he had two good years for Coach Walker. So he's been really consistent. Uh, you know what you're going to get every night. Uh, he's, he's right around the double-double, 17 and 9-9. Nine, nine. Um, he's shooting over 63% from the floor uh, and 38% from three. So the, the best thing is that he's an example to the young guys in our program, like Jimmy Murray and C.J. Barnes and those guys, about what it takes to be successful in college. Uh, he went home this past summer, and, and we talked a little bit about getting in better shape to run and press, which I don't think he really enjoys doing. Um, and he did. He, he came back in better shape, a, a little bit more fit, and, and it's allowed him to play over 30 minutes a game, which is which has really helped us. So, uh, you know, it, it's made my transition from an assistant coach to a head coach very easy because he's bought into everything we've tried to do. So I can't thank him enough for the two years he's given to me um, and, and for what he's done to help, you know, build some, some pride back into the program. So, again, congratulations to him and all the rest of the guys up here today.